three, two, one. Behind me, you'll see the first two 702X satellites being built for the O3BM power constellation for our customer SES in Luxembourg. In this facility, we start by integrating and testing our satellite platform. Once we have completed the integration and testing of the satellite platform, we bring in the payload, which leverages the advanced integrated payload array technology developed for the 702X and being first employed on O3BM power. The payload and the platform come together under this roof, then goes through a very rigorous environmental test program to ensure that the satellites will survive both the uh, strenuous mechanical environments of the launch phase, as well as the environmental challenges and rigors that are experienced in the space environment. We're in the vibration room and we're setting up here to run the O3BM power sign vibration test. This test is critical. Anyone who's seen a launch knows that the journey to space is anything but smooth. It's a very violent, dynamic ride all the way from the launch pad up into space. All the forces that happen have to be simulated here before we can approve the launch. And we got 11 satellites coming through, starting with this next one. And eventually all 11 will see either sign vibration or acoustic vibration before launch. We're really excited to be moving into this phase of vibration testing and seeing them launch. So as you know, not many of us have been in space, but from all the movies that we've watched, we know that the temperatures can be extremely hot or extremely cold. So the thermal vacuum chamber that we have here simulates the environment that the satellite will see when it's up in space. So it simulates the heat from the sun, uh, also the coldness and vacuum of space. So when we're testing, the satellite is powered up like it would be up in space. So all the systems are checked and we verify that everything can operate in vacuum and also in the hot and cold extremes. One of the things that you'll notice about the 702X MEO satellites being used for O3BM power is the size. The O3BM power satellites are quite a bit smaller. This is due both to the high level of integration enabled by the advanced integrated payload array technology, as well as the need to launch multiple satellites at a single time. Once they've achieved their desired uh, initial orbit, those satellites then separate from the launch vehicle one at a time and go through an electric propulsion orbit raising phase to achieve their final mission orbit, at which point service can begin. 